bold, casual, flirty, Elon bob style cut with bangs by Envy. It's brand new for spring 2024. This one is Marsha in Champagne Shadow. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One so you could enjoy this review today. You can find the style at Wig Studio One. If you go below the video and expand the description box, there'll be a direct product link. It'll be labeled Envy's Marsha. And if you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. So let's get started on Marsha. I am wearing it here in the color Champagne Shadow. So Marsha here is a fun little undone, bold, casual, flirty, Elon Bob style cut with bangs. So let's get into these specs real quick. This is about a three and a half to four inch bang. And they kind of tend to sweep right over the eyebrow. Can you trim these bangs? Absolutely. They are meant to hug the forehead all the way down. So you shouldn't have any trouble adjusting those bangs to your preference and liking. Now overall, this is about 12 to 13 inches, but you're only gonna find that here in the front because it does have a bit of a dramatic angle. In the back, we're looking at nine to 10 inches off of that crown. There's ample coverage at the nape. You get that fullness from all of this undone beach wave. And the cap, there's some brand new innovation coming from Envy in what they call their So Soft Cap. Now I'm gonna give you an inside look at this cap here real quick. So what we're looking at here is an extended lace front and single monofilament top. But what's really new is the fact that they're layering that monofilament to mimic a natural hairline. So you notice right at the front, uh, the knots are very fine and then they tend to get a little thicker as you move back into the style. Uh, that layered monofilament look also gives a natural look towards the crown area. And you can part it anywhere you want along that top and still get the illusion of scalp. Also, the fact that they're layering in that monofilament, it does obscure that seam a little easier. Remember that seam in the monofilament part is there to give it structure and strength. It's a nice welded lace front with hand tied knots and it looks absolutely beautiful from the inside and the outside. Now I can say that this lace does feel very soft. It's soft, it's not scratchy at all. And it's super breathable, um, meaning that when you move, there's an air exchange through those knottings, those knots and holes in the grid of that lace that really make it a nice comfortable fit. I really like this style. However, um, I did find one problem with the cap. So inside of the cap where the uh, strap style adjusters are in the back, you can pull them out to cinch in the length, the circumference, but it just falls right back out. There's not enough tension on those straps to hold it into place and they tend to curl up like an inferior elastic was used. So I would just caution you, if you need to have a maximum adjustment on an average cap to fit your petite average circumference, this may really bother you because they don't stay put. You're gonna have to sew the uh, the straps into place. Talking about this fiber and the density, this is a nice, fine, dry, regular synthetic fiber. It just feels so whispery light. It's got a wispy movement to it. It's just a nice natural, low to medium density, which gives you the movement that you're looking for. It is not heat friendly, so it does feel a little silkier to the touch a little drier to the touch, meaning that these fibers stay a little more separated. Now you're gonna find some permatease on this, but the permatease is not on the top. It's right there at the sides and at the back. There's very little um, throughout this cap. It's none of the soft pillowy type permatease, but I can sense it most right there at the sides and in the back. So it's a moderate amount of permatease meant to sustain the style. So what is the identity of this style? So if you're out there and you like a lot of height on top, you may not be a big fan of this style because this is smooth and flat on top and then you have volume in the middle. So it gives it that rounded appearance, which is very chic, 
uh, with these slim bangs hugging the forehead there and this A-line look. So it kind of bushes out right there at the curl line. It has a fringe that stays out of the face and it's not too big of a profile on the top. However, if you're like me and you like a little height on top but slimmer through the temple to suit your preference, again, I think you're gonna struggle a little bit with this one. I'll have to use some strategic styling to mold and shape this style to my preference. And in terms of really maximizing these beautiful lace features, you may want to do an up and over, something to expose that front. Let's take a look at this lace front. Temple to temple. Fine knots right there at the front that gradually get a little more dense as you move back. Nice natural density. And also there's not too thick of a bang. See how that bang is layered and textured? That's gonna give it a wispy look to where you can really get that butterfly effect here with it as well. It's not undercut. Uh, that bang does lay over top of the other layers. Kind of a retro feeling bang to it. Let's talk about this color real quick before I do an indoor outdoor look. This is Champagne Shadow. And Champagne Shadow is a 14 and a 613 and an eight root. So we're looking at sort of a medium gold blonde with some very pale gold blonde highlights, a baby gold blonde highlight, and then a medium root. And this really does give a nice warm appearance. So all the colors that are going into this mix are on the warm side. And depending on the lightness, you can really get a sense of that root process there. Now the the studio lights always darken the root, um, the appearance of the root. So I'll give you a, a look at this in outdoor light as well, so you can have that perspective. pretty undone flirty look right out of the box which is going to be perfect for the beach weather months coming up for us here in the northern hemisphere um the options for styling really are very versatile because you're going to be able to take advantage of all of those lace features here so if you if you prefer to lie it straight down right across the forehead that's perfect you can do a sweeping bang with a very wide part off to either side to change up that look. See how soft and silky that fiber looks? Now I feel like these sides kind of gobble me up a little bit just because they're longer like this and there's a lot of volume there. And the volume is the curl, it's not necessarily a density. So you can definitely get a good tuck on either side or both. So I'm just gonna flirt with this style a little bit to get you familiar with the density and the movement, the fiber, and inspire you to style this one. If you love bangs, on a cute little beachy wave undone bob. I think you're really gonna like this style. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon, right back here at Tassa's Week Closet.